stick around till the end to see if this shot is film or digital. What's up guys? We are in Saguaro National Park in Tucson, Arizona, testing out the greats of each of our respective mediums. This is the GFX Fujifilm GFX 100S 100 megapixel camera with the 80 millimeter f1.7 versus the brand camera Co 180 millimeter f5.6. This is my buddy Spencer Rudy. I'll link his Instagram. Spencer Rudy, mostly do black and white landscape, nature photography, some cityscapes. I've got a bunch of different cameras. Um, this is the biggest and the most expensive that I've ever got. Spent a whole of $100 on the camera body and then $300 for my Nikkor lens. I like to travel around, go to national parks, take pictures, develop them in the dark room, make prints. Good stuff. When he told me that he had this camera, I wanted to see it with my own eyes and see the process because I've never actually seen it be used. And, you know, I had the idea for a clickbait video title 100 megapixel camera versus the large format film camera, which is kind of like the best of each medium. You know, the medium format digital cameras that Fuji produces and that Hasselblad produces. Those are kind of like the most expensive and highest resolution cameras you can get for digital cameras. The large format film cameras is kind of like the cream of the crop, would you say, for film photography. In no way is this like a direct comparison. We just kind of wanted to have fun and take the same picture using both cameras. Before we start showing you guys some of the results, please go ahead and like this video and subscribe to the channel so that we don't have to spend money on gas. No, I'm joking. I thought that the most interesting petroglyph was the spiral, and so I wanted to get that. I checked the lighting on it, and I thought the contrast might be too high to make it out, but it's not too bad. The shadows falls around zone four, and the highlights were around zone six, so I can get good detail in both of those. I wanted to get more of the valley in the photo so I could see some of the saguaro in the background, which is why I'm standing up on a rock, and why I have my tripod up so high. And then I used some I forget what the movement's called, but I lowered the front element of the camera a bit so that I could get more of the rocks in the foreground, less of the sky, because there's no clouds or anything, so it's pretty much just like a blank.
thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed just seeing the results that we got from the GFX 100S and the large format, the 180 millimeter f5.6 Nikkor lens on this large format baby. If you liked the video, please go ahead and like it and then subscribe because it helps the channel a ton. And I will be linking Spencer Rudy's Instagram um, in the link below. And if you want to buy a print, you can DM him. He does all the developing himself, which is really cool. So I guess that's pretty much it.